Greetings, fellow captains. In our previous episode, we told you about aircraft carriers. In this episode, we'll talk about American and Japanese destroyers. Torpedo boat destroyers, or simply destroyers, are not as big and heavily armored as cruisers. They have no armor, are fast and maneuverable. But still, these ships are able to strike and crush an adversary many times as large as they are. Having much in common, the Japanese and American representatives of this type have several critical distinctions, both in armament and in combat application. The first three Japanese destroyers, Yumikaze, Wakataki and Isokaze, were designed and built in the 1910s. They were classic torpedo boat destroyers during World War I, with up to a thousand ton displacement, 533 mm torpedo tubes, and speed up to 35 knots. Their torpedoes travel as far as 7 kilometers, but even that distance lets them be unnoticeable for adversaries due to their small size. Their American counterparts, Samson, Wicks and Clemson, carry much more torpedo tubes, four double or triple tubes, But their unfavorable location, two tubes on each side, a much less effective range of torpedoes, neutralize their quantitative advantage. The destroyers Wicks and Clemson are worth a separate discussion. These ships refer to the so-called flush deckers, the most wide-scale class of destroyers in history. Over 250 flush deckers were built during World War I and in the post-war years. Ships of this class served in the American, Canadian, British, Soviet and even Japanese fleets. At Tier 5 of the American Tech Tree, there is the first and so far the only paper destroyer reconstructed by the World of Warships team based on drawings and design information. Nicholas is a project of the leading torpedo boat destroyer dated 1919. The project wasn't implemented due to financial reasons. The ship carries much more powerful and numerous 127mm guns that became the main armament of the American destroyers for many years. The Japanese Tiers 5 and 6 destroyers, Minakazi and Mitsuki, compete with Nicholas in the ocean. Having excellent speed and heavy 120mm artillery, they are a dangerous opponent for any ship. Mutsuki is especially dangerous, since it was the first in the Japanese destroyer branch to carry 610mm torpedo tubes the most powerful and traveling for the longest distances, up to 10 kilometers at her tier. The same torpedo tubes are mounted on the following Japanese destroyers as well, Hatsuharu, Fubuki and Kagero. These ships refer to special type destroyers, having all-purpose artillery grouped into twin turret guns and moving at a speed of up to 35 to 37 knots. They set the worldwide standard for destroyers for a long time, these destroyers were the first to have long lance, 610mm oxygen torpedoes and carrying up to a tonne of explosive for a distance of up to 15 to 20 kilometers. No torpedo belt can endure this weapon successfully, but we should remember that mechanization of the main turrets in the Japanese fleet is worse than in American ships and the turret traverse speed in the Japanese destroyers is much lower than in the American analogues which can create certain difficulties in battles using artillery armament. All-purpose calibre in artillery is also used by the American destroyers of compatible tiers, Farragut, Mahan, Benson and Fletcher. They are all very similar and are bright representatives of the American destroyer evolution in the 1930s. 
poor effective range of torpedoes, especially if compared to the long lance, is leveled by the impressive artillery power, both of primary armament and AA guns. Traditionally, the Americans were scrupulous about ship protection from airstrikes. For this reason, players can come across a crowd of AA guns in the American destroyers. From the Browning machine gun and the Chicago piano, to 40mm Bofors guns, and famous 127mm guns with barrel lengths of 38 calibers, which are rightfully considered to be the best all-purpose caliber gun during World War II. The American Tier 9 destroyer Fletcher was probably the most famous destroyer in World War II. In all, 175 ships of this class were built, and they justly deserve the affection of the whole American fleet by becoming the backbone of the US Navy during the war in the Pacific. Fletcher-class ships served in naval forces of 12 countries until the very beginning of the 21st century. At present, four of such ships are kept as museums. The top ships of the branches are the Tier 10 destroyers, Gearing and Shimukaze. The former of them was the peak of evolution for the American destroyers, having three 127mm twin guns and heavy AA artillery, Gearing is an unrivaled fighter in an artillery duel and a perfect defender from aviation. And Shimukaze carries the highest among the destroyers number of torpedoes in broadside, three quintuple torpedo tubes equipped with a long lance that can drown any ship in the game in a few moments. In our next episode, we'll talk about the game tactics in different battle modes, 